What is up, YouTube? So, okay, welcome back to another TPX Gaming. Um, so today, I'm going to show you uh, super important information about remote remote play at PS4. You could basically have a field day. It doesn't matter how fast your internet is at all. It's the better the internet is, the better the quality and the image is going to be. So right now, I'm recording this video. And uh, with my cell phone, and my cell phone is actually also my hotspot. I get about a uh, thousand kilobytes a second, which is about a song. So like three seconds is like a song, basically. And um, so one second. Sorry about that. So there's gonna be some brief little interruptions. I'm at work right now, so yeah. Um, so. Basically, doesn't matter how fast your internet is. Um, the better the quality, the better, the faster the speed, the better the, um, you know. So right now I get about 1,000, I get 4G LTE over here. Even on one bar of 4G LTE T-Mobile, uh, I get super fast speeds. So um, what does matter is that at home, there's no exception. Your PS4 must be plugged into Ethernet. It's the way it was built. It was meant for Ethernet only. Wi-Fi will not work. When you, dis when you enable all the settings in both. Now, here's an this was important. You need to enable two things in the Vita section. Right now, I will show you my settings. This is going to be an in-depth video because this is was something that everybody wants to do. I mean, I'm connected. I can be playing my Vita. I could be playing my PS4 in my car. That's how convenient this is. You can play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag in your car out in the woods if you have good signal. Out in the woods. All the way back at home. There is no restriction to this at all. As you can see, I'm connected to Hotspot. Hotspot is my cell phone. I'm gonna pop back out. We're gonna go to PlayStation. We're going to go to PS4 Link. I'm going to boot it up. Brief interruption. One second. I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to make this legit. So I'm just going to kind of shush. But I don't want you to think I edited this video. So just, just sit and watch. I will be connected to my PS4. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so um, my cell phone got a little weird. Um, I have a backup. I have this cool little, I have this Connectify program. It uh, runs through Ethernet and then through my laptop. And then it transmits through here. It turns my laptop into a hotspot. Uh, some computers just come with it, like anything with like a, uh, another interruption. This, this sucks, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, I have this program, like I said, Connectify. It's a hotspot for your laptop if you don't have that support. Uh, so what you do is it transmits the data that comes in from the, the cable out to your Wi-Fi card. And uh, now this is a very slow connection because the school connection I have here is terrible. So this is super slow. This is like extra, extra slow compared to my phone. But it was giving me a hard time because I'm recording and using my phone at the same time. But either way, this is an even better test because it's slower. Um, anyways, pop back out. Remote play. This is what will happen. This is how you know all the time if you are being connected. The screen will glitch. As soon as it switches to internet, 
it will give it a quick glitch and then it'll also say obviously hey we're connecting checking the environment see the jump that's an indication that you have a successful connection it's gonna go back and forth and then boom PS4 interruption okay so basically yeah I'm at a uh, building where there's uh, students I have to ID and such so um, yeah when there's when someone comes in the building I have to make sure that they're legit um, so yeah there's lots of interruptions I apologize uh, but uh, this is the only time I can use this I have to be at work because if you're in the same house with your PS4 it doesn't want to connect to internet because it's like, well, you're in the same room as your PS4, so we don't need to use the internet. So, in order to do this, that's what this test is all about. Now, there's quite some lag. There's definitely a huge... The slower, the, the slower it is, the more lag there's going to be. But it's totally playable. Uh, I'll try to do this best I can with one hand. I don't even know why I just got... Alright, there we go. Alright, so here's Assassin's Creed Black Flag on the Vita. Focus, damn you. I cannot stand when it will not focus. It takes away from the prettiness. Let me try to fix it. I'm trying to show you... Quality. The o the OLED C um the the Vita screen. This is actually really really beautiful. Uh, for some reason, my camera is not focusing, and obviously, in real life, the color difference is ridiculous. Uh, it's much more vibrant on the Vita, for real. Um, it handles really well. I can't run in high profile and show you at the same time it's very difficult to do this with one hand so I mean, yeah I, I, I'm not gonna be able to um, so uh, trust me it's very responsive and I will show you how responsive I will flick my blades watch my finger and then watch the blades I'm gonna press it press. The buttons are so tiny that, but listen for the sound. This, this might be easier. Watch my thought, watch my finger as I press. Nope, you can't see. The Vita buttons are really, really tiny. They're really flush with the device. Either way, there's no lag. This is the only other way I'll do it, is with the joystick. The only lag you see is basically the, the delay in the game itself. So anyways, that basically is proof that you can be on any internet at all and use your PS4 over a remote play. The only stipulation, the only part that you need is you have to have your PS4 plugged in through an ethernet cable. So grab a long one and have fun. Peace guys.